Hello everybody, Brian from Witch Doctor here. Got a couple of uh, updates. Uh, one is on the powder storage. Wanted to show everybody um, an update. I took this jug of RL26. It's about halfway full. Um, and I placed the Kestrel drop into the jug. Uh, I created this little fire barrier first just in case something happened with the drop and it sparked to keep it uh, contained, if you will. Um, anyway, and then dropped it into the container here. Use, also using a um, you know little hook here to sort of bring it down steadily so that it sits right on top of the powder column um, and stays in this little container. Um, so what I did is I did that. I kept it indoors. Indoors about 50% humidity. And I did that for a couple weeks and I monitored it closely. How you monitor is really cool. Um, Kestrel Link has an app where you download the app, you turn your Bluetooth on, and the Bluetooth connects to the drop. I wanted to show this to you just to show you kind of how I've been monitoring this. So I, I put it in for two weeks um, indoor storage and then. Um, took it out of there and actually placed it outside here in my backyard in the Pacific Northwest um, during the dead of winter where we get over 90% humidity pretty much every day. Um, anyway, this app has this little dashboard that tells you what the um, data is for where you are at now. Right now we're at 65 degrees with about 70% humidity. It is a sunnier day than usual out here. Um, there's no water on the ground, um, so we are, do have a dry day today. Uh, what you do is you click more down here at the bottom to take a look at historical data. Let's see, where are you more? There you are. And then you can actually select graphs. And then you can see one, one would be temperature and the other is relative humidity. So if we look at the data here, it is showing us that the last time it took a data input at 1.30, when this was actually outside here and the drop was inside the container, the relative humidity was 60.5%. And what you do is you can just scroll this way and this gives you data. It looks like I'm collecting data every 10 minutes um, of the level of humidity inside the jug. Um, it, it is, I did put the cap on the jug after I dropped the drop in, so it was all sealed. Um, anyway, I've been looking at it now for two months as I've been sitting out here in the dead of winter in high humidity environment and the data is pretty consistently at 60.3 to 60.5 percent. Uh, it really doesn't vary much from there uh, and, and it hasn't over the past two months. So um, basically in general what the data is telling me is, is these jugs here do not expose the uh, powder to any type of excess humidity so anyway that's update and, and again i have two months of data from this jug sitting outside and an additional two weeks of data from it being inside and it's pretty much all the same it's if you could see here i'm scrolling through and it's staying at 60.5 60.4 percent so it really doesn't change much anyway that's a nifty cool uh, app to have to if you if you decide to do some tracking like this a um, couple other updates wanted to let you know that um, I noticed that there was some data in my primer pocket test with the BR4 um, primers uh, or it could have been the 450s um, anyway there were five shot groups um, oh, I'm sorry it was the BR4s there was a couple of five shot groups that were in the 34 58 34 67 velocity range um, whereas I've been typically shooting around 3370. I took a look at my notes from that testing and actually found that the, the lab radar's battery was low when it took those readings. So I charged the battery, went out and shot the same exact load, uh, the same exact rifle, and it ended up being an average of 3370. So um, I did look back too at another test that I did, uh, the primer pocket test, the cleaning test, the one that I used the BR, 6BR with, and I did find a set of five shot groups that were 3625, 3635 in velocity, but the standard velocity was 3450 to 3500. 
So interestingly, my notes there said that the lab radar battery was low. So the second sort of number one lesson learned in this update is these jugs do not expose the powder to humidity even when they're stored in high humid environments. Um, the second thing is if your lab radar's battery is low, um, be careful. Um, I would definitely, uh, at this point in time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure it has at least a 50% charge anytime I use it. Um, it seems like the charge, low charge, uh, and then needing to recharge it uh, resulted in off, off, the readings were off basically. Um, so definitely keep that lab radar charged up. I'm not gonna let mine go below 50. Um, although I have had, you know, in the 20 to 30 percent range, very consistent velocities. Um, it's when it dipped down below 20 percent where the velocities were off. So I'm still going to take uh, caution anyway and uh, make sure I keep it above 50 percent charge. Anyway, okay, thanks everybody um, for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, and share.